Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the forexbow.com trade ideas. This is Victor with you. It's Monday and we will be going through the euro versus New Zealand dollar currency pair. Before we start, as usual, reminding you that all the information in this video is for educational purpose only and should not be considered as financial advice. First off, before we start with our new idea, let's go back to our previous idea which was Australian versus dollar. What we had is idea to buy at this level, which is the red line to target 0.6762 area. The, the target has been reached quite fast as I was actually expecting. This idea is down very fast profit, minimal drawdown. See that the price went below actually by 15 pips or so. And we has, have reached this target overall resulting in um, 130 pips profit for this trade. Congratulations to those who took the trade and made some profit. Also, let's go back to the New Zealand versus Swiss franc we still expect this sort of move from what i see is that these two moving averages are being rejected price failed to close above for the second time it rejected produces the higher high and now i do think we will see this sort of move on the new zealand swiss franc so the uptrend should be reached and i do expect it to move towards the target and this is the reason why we're bringing on the euro versus New Zealand dollar idea, because it's highly correlated to New Zealand dollar versus Swiss franc. OK, let's start on the four hour chart. What we see is a massive resistance area formed near 1.8280. This resistance area have been rejected multiple times and lower lows are being printed. This gives the idea that the trend is still bearish. We had this rejection here on the four hour chart on of both moving averages, which is also quite a bearish signal, although it might not be a downtrend continuation, but at least we should retest this support zone. I would like to explain why this support zone is important is on the one hour chart. OK, this is chart is much more interesting in my view because there are some more confirmations of this very sentiment what we applied here is fibonacci correction to this upside wave where we broke 50 simple moving average it shows that 461.8 fips is based at 75 80 area now we have also applied another fips to this correction where moving averages were rejected you can see that if i zoom that both moving averages were rejected price has produced the high here but failed to close above so i applied this uh, this fibonacci to this corrective wave up since this was attempt to break above but no it failed so this is the initial correction and now if we look at down it corresponds to 727.2 percent fibs which brings me to conclusion that this might play a key role as key support in the short to medium term. I would expect this move to be quite fast, maybe two or three days. And this is actually quite a big move considering Euro NSD is 250 pips, which is and well, not that big and not that small. So it's quite a nice move in regards to the stop loss. The stop loss ideally above this high which is 179.81. However, I would be most likely watching the closure, one hour closure above this high, even four hour close, because uh, it, it plays most of the time a more important role. So one and four hour candle closes above this high, that would invalidate the signal so exit would be triggered in this case the risk reward ratio still remains very very good probably one to four and makes still this trade very interesting opportunity in terms of selling but at the same time the while this price seems to be okay -ish for the sell it is probably best to wait for some sort of pullback because ideally the price should be near 178.50 to meet the perfect risk reward ratio. I think the opportunity is there because of this rejection on 
two time frames and because also of the New Zealand Swiss franc price action which is correlated so overall this is the idea that we expect um, for this week and let's see how it goes we will update you tomorrow or Wednesday on this idea if you like the video please don't forget to click the like button and obviously subscribe to our channel to see more great ideas thanks for watching and have a profitable trading